if you look at it as an asset, it's not important. But there's literally a lifetime worth of memories in that house. This is a house that I grew up in. Uh, this is our block. Uh, houses lined this entire neighborhood. There was mostly uh, Latino families. There were some white families in there mixed in. Uh, some black families that were mixed in. So it was diverse. We're kind of hard seeing it as a parking lot, even though it's been like this for years. It's depressing, but this is home. This is, this is home to me. Vivo aquí ya por 18 años. Y, uh, y ahora con todos los cambios que va a haber, con las rentas tan altas que están, tenernos que mover a otro lugar. En, mis hijas en la escuela en donde van ahorita, yo estoy muy contenta. Hasta ya a mis hijas les gusta también la escuela. De hecho, hace poquito me dieron la noticia de que a lo mejor becan a una de ellas hasta el colegio. Y te imaginas todas estas oportunidades, cambiarlas por que me tengo que ir de esta área. When there's rapid development in areas of Denver, particularly in neighborhoods that have lacked investment, people end up becoming displaced. Our house was recently taken away from us for the National Western Expansion, which is pretty much tied into the I-70 expansion as well. The city came and took our house from us. Two and a half years, long two and a half years, just trying to find a house. And we ended up from a free and clear house to having a mortgage. Not something that we wanted to do, but I think it's something that we had to do. I recently was moved from my old residence to this residence because of the Interstate 70 reconfiguration. I'm getting up in the ages and so I didn't want to make another move and not knowing what it was going to cost me physically and mentally. This is where my home used to be. I, uh, I moved from here in late 2014 at the behest of the highway so uh, basically here here it was here it is aquí están las escuelas las um, clínicas los doctores aquí que tenemos cerca mi esposo trabaja cerca también será también unas dos o tres millas de aquí, de, de la casa, trabaja él. Y nos afectaría el movernos a otro lugar, pues el llegar a su trabajo también. Es muy, muy estresante la situación. With displacement, there are a whole host of negative health implications. And it's critical to acknowledge that our physical health is not separate from our mental health. There are a lot of emotional impacts related to housing as well. It increases anxiety levels, stress levels, and chronic stress is associated with a lot of chronic health conditions such as asthma, arthritis, allergies. Physically, it takes a toll on you. Like I fell ill after everything was said and done. And emotionally, it was just, it, it was very taxing. I just became disconnected from my friends, uh, hobbies. We've been here for almost a year and I think I'm finally starting to get back to normal. Health factors in this was would, would be essentially mental health. Four years uh, not knowing what I, where I was going to go or how, how long was, was it was hard to hard to put up with. I knew that once it finally happened, the compensation was was more than I expected. It's also important to note that we're not just talking about individual homes. We're talking about neighborhood fabric. 
you know, neighborhood school, for example, and, and people feeling like if something goes wrong, I can run down the street and ask so-and-so for help. So what happens with displacement is that that neighborhood fabric starts to dissolve. Lo importante de querer quedarme en este vecindario es porque me gusta mi comunidad. Podemos salir, platicar con los vecinos, se conoce uno, tiene un problema y pues va uno con un vecino, platica uno con ellos. A veces nos juntamos a um, algunas mujeres de la comunidad en un uh, lugar donde dan comida y ahí exponemos todo. Es nuestro lugar para ir a platicar, para exponer tantas cosas que traemos. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con nuestra familia? ¿Qué vamos a hacer con nuestros hijos? Y decimos, ¿qué va a pasar con esas casas? It's a very complex issue, and in Denver, it's happening, happening very rapidly. So there's not one solution. I think it has to be um, a whole host of solutions with community voices and, and really thinking through with any policy or practice who will be helped and who will be harmed.